Well, if you did the math correctly, you know that the 50th anniversary of Idaho News 6 means we've been on the airwaves since 1974. Now, obviously, that makes 1974 a very significant or historic moment in our station's history, but it was just one of many events to happen across the country. Good evening. 1974 was packed with historic events, but for those that were around and remember that year, nothing stood out more than the Watergate scandal, subsequently leading to the first and only time a sitting U.S. president resigned from office when Richard Nixon did just that on August 9th. What we saw in the nation in 1974 was indicative in many ways of what we're seeing today. There was a lot of divisiveness in the country. The Republicans during the Nixon administration wholeheartedly supported the president and Democrats wanted to indict him. Also like today, the generational gap in 1974 was incredibly apparent. We saw a lot of influence from the summer of love from the 1960s. Mm -hmm. um, so you still had kind of that hippie influence and George McGovern, who, who was the Democratic presidential candidate opposing R Richard Nixon, mm -hmm. he garnered a lot of the, he lost the election, but he garnered a lot of the, the youth vote, mm -hmm. the young vote, the hippie vote. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of the anti-establishment, the younger uh, demographic versus the middle-aged or older establishment demographic. And while the state of Idaho mostly sees red these days, there was plenty of blue back in 74. The political scope in Idaho in those days was, was very democratic. You had Cecil Landris, a uh, Democratic governor. He did two terms. He later became the Secretary of the Interior in the Carter administration. Mm -hmm. You had U.S. Senator Frank Church, uh, head of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Americans were feeling the effects of the 1973 gas embargo, which heavily affected Idahoans, all Idahoans. There were long lines at gas pumps all across the nation and the same way here in Idaho as well. Uh, in fact, I remember seeing a picture of uh, U.S. Senator Frank Church, well-known Democrat in, in Idaho politics. He had to sit in the gas line just like everybody else. That led to another one of today's issues, gas prices. Gas even then was like a dollar a gallon or two dollars a gallon, and nowadays we don't think anything of that. Um, but that was kind of a big deal back then. But here in the gem state, 1974 and the following few years turned out to be a time that would shape the Treasure Valley into what it is today. You had, of course, Boise Junior College becoming Boise State University. You had Micron, which started in a garage that's now in this huge complex in southeast Boise. You had Hewlett Packard in West Boise building that huge complex. 1974, the year KIVI flipped up the on-air switch, a big deal locally in a year that saw major changes to our nation. 1974, of course, the Vietnam War was winding down, so obviously we didn't see a lot of the, the protests of the Vietnam War. And there, the country was going through this transition. We had Watergate was sort of behind us. President Nixon had resigned. President Ford has taken his place. Thank so you. it was a new chapter in, in the nation's history. From right outside the 50-year-old itself, Matt Sizemore, Idaho News 6.